Greetings and a gentlemen from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles. Brought to you by Sean Porter Promotions. Shout out to Sean Porter Promotions. One time. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh off the plane, Sean. We might even have to start over because I don't even know no. what just happened. He's like, no, we're not going to start over. I said, all right. I said, shout out to Sean Porter Promotions. That build you in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Appreciate it. Look, also, I accidentally said one time, which is I, that's where I was like, all right. We went to karaoke before you fought Keith and somebody was singing Killing Me Softly. Uh huh. And so everyone, of course. In New York? No, no, no. Here. Okay. It was like a couple weeks before oh, you okay, fought okay, Keith. Okay, okay. Somebody singing Killing Me Softly. So, of course. One time, yeah, and your dad was like, "Yeah, none of that." I right. was like, "Come on, man, right, right, it's right, Clef. Right, 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 right. I can't not shout out White Clef." Right. But yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Put Away Podcast. My oh, man, looking like a fresh uh, Cuban Coke dealer, straight out of <laughs> straight out of Miami. I, I see it you. Looks like a granite countertop. <laughs> I tried it today. I was like, you know what? I, I've actually never worn. Where you bought that one from? Where you bought that? From? I don't know. <laughs> don't bust me out because. I don't wear name brand clothing, so you can imagine. Where okay, I, I, I respect it. You yeah. know me; I'm a, I'm a known cheaper. <laughs> so uh, I figured I'd try it today. You know, so back from Florida, it's a very Florida style shirt. I would hey, say. I went for it, yeah. to say the least. They don't sponsor us, but I got something. I had to go down. The- <laughs> what y'all think about the full front? This I don't thing? know. <laughs> I have no clue. What, I have no clue what this is. Hey, I went. <laughs> because I, I thought something. I don't know, man. I don't hey, man, I went out to Florida. Hey, 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 y'all know I'm about hey, to alligator head. I'm about to have a baby. I'm about to have a baby. We saw my ladies yeah, congrats, complaining. Congrats. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, he just said like it ain't nothing. Yeah. <laughs> First yeah. time saying it on the show. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, but yeah. it ain't nothing. So she complained about her feet hurting. Her feet hurting. I'm, so I'm on the plane Googling. Everything she complains about, I just pay, pay I try to pay to fix it. So I'm like, uh, let's see. What she's like, man, I gotta be at this. We're gonna be out here, I'm gonna be hurting the whole time. So I found out they said this is the best footwear. Oh, he, oh, Crocs, baby. Oh, Crocs. Oh, I'm in a Croc game. My dad swears by Crocs. Hey, I, I do too. You're definitely yeah. ready to be a dad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. got the jokes down too. Mm-hmm. What jokes? The jokes on Dumb jokes. Dumb jokes. Uh, dad jokes. Yeah. Oh, just dad yeah, jokes yeah, in, yeah, general. in general. Yeah. They come naturally too. Yeah. I mean, my baby's going to mix with a lot of things. So I'm going to have a waffle color baby. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got a. Yeah. Waffle color, huh? Yeah. Drake, Obama, what Steph Curry. What the, what they the, turn out pretty good then. Yeah, true. What oh, yeah, 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 you're right. What, yeah, the, uh, what, the yellow, <laughs> what the yellow light say to the red light? See? Uh, don't uh, look, I'm changing. Uh, oh! Uh-huh. I'm using that. Putting that in my. Yeah. I don't know where. I saw that somewhere. <laughs> He's so childish. I saw that somewhere and laughed for like 20 minutes after that. But, oh, man. Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> An official Port of podcast. Congrats, man. Yes. Thanks, man. Thanks, thanks, thanks. thanks. Did your job? Yeah. Did it happen? Yeah. He's going to play play with our kids? Yeah, yeah, you know, we, we you know, our, our kids. He's gonna be the that. young end. He's gonna be the youngest. Oh yeah, yeah. he gonna be the biggest though. I was gonna say, <laughs> based on the ant, like he's got. He's I don't got know. Like, I got some height, you know. Yeah, yeah they but, told her she, she was. They told her her size, and doctors like, yeah, that's a way above. I was like, oh, ah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. That's funny. Not my problem. How much sleep you get, hey, Sean? I, huh? Coming back. I mean, you're you pretty fresh off the plane. How much sleep did you get? Oh, no. after covering the fight. No. Not Fifteen much. hours. None, huh? Not much. No. This is I operate like this. It's weird, but I do it. I flew uh going to Miami, uh, red eye, midnight. Somebody sent me a documentary they wanted me to check out. So the whole flight, four four hours or so, four and a half to to Miami. I'm watching this doc, I'm taking notes, all that kind of stuff. I didn't sleep. I get in, go for my go for a run, go work out. Then I do a, a interview, long hour interview with somebody. Then I get off the line with them, and uh, uh, other people calling about the fights and so much going on with with the card and all that kind yeah. of stuff. I didn't sleep until like that following night. You know what I mean? So Dang. same thing coming home, man. I, I I I love it. I don't know. I'm weird like that. You know, the adrenaline. Like, where yeah, so like where people like y- y'all would be like, hey, yo, you gotta get some sleep. So that. It's a, I consider it a challenge. <laughs> you know, I got problems. So I'll be like, yeah. Like, so I'm like, I'm undercover, like secretly bragging right now about not having any sleep. You know but do I mean? you well, sleep you know, on a plane? You a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So I consider yeah. that sleep. Well, you know, like after Pacquiao Ugas, we, I came to the show. My oh, man. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. He's like, Sean, yeah. Sean look away. You didn't that day, Sean. Yeah, Sean looked like you was off. I was out of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I can't handle it. <laughs> like, but, but I try. I do it. I yeah, do. I don't yeah. do it as effective, but yeah. I do it. 
So we can we can go e- either way with y'all want to go. Uh, you might want to talk into your mic. Will be oh yeah. Let me. Oh. <laughs> Things have changed over here. Yeah. So I mean, I believe you covered a fight last night. Call yeah. the fight. Comments. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, well, yeah. Everybody was in the house. Yeah. Former and, president. 50 Cent, Sean Porter. Everybody was in the house, though. Did like, you talk to Trump? Trump? I'm just a, okay. oh, man, He on. ducked you. I, nah, he didn't duck me, man. They they had him at, in a separate spot. Well protected. Um, yeah, I mean, just to, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a very, I'm not political at all. So I was telling this gentleman over here, like, I don't know much about Trump. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So where other garbage. people, where other people, it was, I was salty. I heard that Jim Lampley wasn't going to be on the show. Mm-hmm. But I heard it like day of my flight. And so hearing the day of my flight, I'm like, I'm being optimistic. He's gonna be there. They're gonna they're gonna work it out, so on and so forth. Like I've been starving to work with Jim Lampley since July, since we were supposed to work in July. So. That's almost a dream. <sighs> yeah. It, 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 so okay, so it's not a dream, but when I understand he's coming back and I have the opportunity to do it, that's when it becomes like yeah. I gotta get that. You know what I mean? So I was hearing that he wasn't gonna be doing it. And, um, you know, they trailer just really pulled out all of the tricks, pulled all the tricks out of the hat, you know, moving the fl- the fights from L.A. to uh, Miami in less than a week. It's easy for the fighters uh, in terms of like flights and all that kind of stuff. Tito, he had a hard time with his with the transition or tease because he's got to lose weight. You know, what I mean, so people don't understand, like there's a lot that goes into moving a fight. Forget from one region or from one city to another, like but one one region to the to the other is really crazy. And so um, you know, we we were on the air, you know, really saluting Triller for making that move, but it really is not an easy job to do moving a, an entire production, promotion and production, you know, from one side of the country to the other. I wonder why they did. <laughs> <laughs> That's you being yeah, yeah. yeah, all right, all right. I was gonna say I'm not gonna commend them for all that. Right. I, I would the opposite. I would criticize them for that, but yeah, no, nah, yeah. I mean, I get it. But if you don't want to lose your money, and if you want to make some money, you're gonna do whatever you feel you need to do in order to do that. Triller did that, and in doing that, they did overcome a lot of a lot of adversity right there with that. So, um, but nevertheless, I had a good time. Donald Trump comes in the room, and I'm assuming he won Florida when he when he was a president he because did. Yeah. because it was. It was Trump night in there when he came in there. And uh I like the way 50 said it. 50, 50 was like, yeah, they, they loving him, but they not they show not gonna be better than ours. And I was like, damn right, like we gonna have the show. You know what I mean? So it depends on what you were what you were looking for that night. If you were looking for um just to see something different, then you tuned in to Trump. Uh I heard that people weren't able to weren't able to find um the broadcast that I was on with 50 and also with with Ray Flores, but if y'all caught our our feed, y'all got some good stuff. Cause I I like I mean like y'all know me. I'm I'm pretty humble. Like I I left the show and I was like, yo, I tore it up tonight. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it was a lot of fun and um, got to be a little bit more looser than you are on like Fox, NBC, things like that. So it was cool. I told myself like you know treat it like the podcast. You know so well, I, you know to confirm, I didn't order the pay per view. I don't think Carson did either. But no, no. but on the timeline on so I did get to catch Holyfield Bell for it because but on the timeline. They, a lot of people were saying the best part of the broadcast was your commentary. Yeah. So I, I, I don't, I don't know if that's a big compliment to the fights themselves, right. but it was a compliment to you. <laughs> Listen, when I, when I, when, because my thing is like after the shows and all that, I always get home and I'm like, I'm like buzzing, and I'm sitting there buzzing and I'm just thinking, I'm like, yo, I really did tear it up tonight. I'm like, I'm, I don't know who to tell this to, but hey, like, you know, because I'm telling it to you because I'm by myself, but I'm like, you know, I can't wait. You know, to really Imagine express the fights it, so. were good to match the commentary. The, the, the fights nice. were good. Um, you said they were good. They were well. Okay, so then we had Andy Vences from from um, San Francisco against uh, Jono Carroll mm-hmm. from Ireland. You have you heard of jo- uh, Jono? Yeah, and, and Andy too. He's always yeah. I actually sparred with Andy back in the day. Yeah, and I told Andy like I wear Asics boxing shoes because of you. Like when when I went out there to San Fran, I couldn't find those Asics shoes. And so I was like, yo, you got to tell me where you got those shoes from. One thing led to another. And that's the only thing I wear is Asics boxing shoes now. And he was in the fire meetings like, like what? I'm like, yeah, because I saw you with some old school stuff that I love. And, you know, I add a little port away pot, you know, port away to it. And, 
you know, I got all these different um, ASIC shoes now, but that to me was the boxing match of the night. Um, both those, every fight, every round was close. Both guys had really good boxing styles and everything it took to win the fight. I had uh, Joan O'Carroll win in the fight six to four. It, but it was that close where it could have gone either way. One one judge had to, had it a draw. Um, but if you've never seen Joan O'Carroll at 130, check him out because it's something different about that dude. It's something different about that dude. He's got um he reminds me of uh the other Irish cat from over there who's retired now. He just lost to Jamel or uh Frampton. To Herring. Yeah, Frampton. He reminds Frampton. me he reminds me of Carl Frampton in terms of um, him being he's he can be explosive. He's not ex- as explosive as as Frampton, but he's got speed and he's not afraid to punch a combination. He he's in your face in your grill. You hit him, he's got that Irish blood where he's like, "Come on, bring it." You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I say he's got the combination of having a good boxing style that's entertaining, but then having everything outside of the ring that's entertaining as well. So a lot like you were talking about, um, Roly. Being good for boxing, Jono is good for boxing. So make sure y'all check him out at one thirty. I thought that that was the the boxing match of the night. And um, did Vencey's not let his hands go enough? He didn't let his hands go because that's always been. A, he's a capable fighter, but yeah, yeah. he didn't let his okay. hands go enough. Um, when he did step at uh, step to the other guy, Jono, he 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 released some good stuff, but just not a, not enough, and it wasn't consistent enough, and. The numbers reflected that Jono outthrown, outthrew in, outlanded, uh, outlanded uh, Vince's to win that that one thirty, and uh, it was for the I believe the WBA title eliminator. So um, Jono is going to be a uh, is going to be dangerous <laughs> his favorite at, sanctioning uh, body. Ah, <laughs> congratulations! He's the fifteenth. Uh oh, I shouldn't have said that. They just <laughs> cut, then they no. just cut all the interim champions. Yeah, Carson. So, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. step in the right direction. Alleg- allegedly, no more yeah, allegedly. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah. There was something. Was that a tweet or something like that? Yeah, they've something? they've been talking about. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, sure. progress. Yeah, oh yeah, sure. Yeah. One step at a time. Yeah, don't, who don't was hate ne- on And then who was next? David Hay. Uh, no, David Hay fought before and that. And his homeboy, right? Yeah, he fought. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not gonna hate on that show. You know, so Triller is what it is. You know, it's it's boxing, it's but about it's, entertainment. It's not. It's it's boxing, but then sometimes it's, it's not, not really boxing. <laughs> this fight, you did have David Hay. We know David Hay. Of course. Hay. Everything that he's done. Yeah. And the dude that he fought is a professional boxer, 9-0 and at the point in time. But it ain't no David Hay 9-0. It ain't no, mm-hmm. it ain't no, you know, yeah. no real professional 9-0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, again, no, yeah. no disrespect to him, but it's levels. We all know that. And so when you consider the level that David Hayes on, you consider the level he's on. That fight's not supposed to be made. It was made. It happened. And David Hayes said, "I'm I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna teach him a lesson round by round." And two minute rounds. Uh, I think they did six two minutes. And uh, for that duration, that's exactly what David Hay did. And I was the thing about that fight was I was like, okay, if David Hay wants to come back, he can do it. He says that he's been. Happy with retirement. Never thought about coming back. This dude, I don't know if y'all know the story, but you know he do having a party. Dude got money, and you know he he sh- he he shows off. You know what I mean? Like that's his thing. And David, hey, there was a situation where they're asked who would win in the fight between them two, and they I do the same thing. You know, if you ask me who's gonna win, I, I he said nah, it wouldn't be a draw. Like I, I'd probably beat him. And the other dude's like, yo, I got this girl I'm trying to get with. Why don't you, you know? F- Dumb it, dumb it down a little right, bit. Right, right. Fair request. <laughs> but David Hayes, like, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. You know, so one thing leads to another. And they get in the ring, and um, you know, it, the fight really went the way that it went. One knockdown. But saying all that to say, David Hay looked good. He's saying he wants to fight Tyson nah, Fury. Nah, you ain't look that good. He's saying he wants to fight Tyson Fury. Ever. In his career. But here's you know, the he's thing. one of the greatest cruiserweights of all time. But you know. But fighting a six nine heavy. <laughs> yeah, and then here's the other thing: when you got somebody that you can do everything you want to do against, of course you're gonna feel yeah. comfortable. Of course you're gonna feel like you can do it again, so on and so forth. And I don't mean to discredit him. Who do I think will win in a fight with with David Hay and Tyson Fury? Tyson Fury. Yeah, you know, I think there's, Tyson Fury. Early stop. It. Why does well, there's never like it's never a reasonable next step like. <laughs> when, when, when these things happen, it's always something crazy as hell. You're like, right. You're right. Like he's just, he could have just been like, yeah, you know, I'd like to you know fight in my hometown. Just you know, no, yeah. you know I want tight. Like, come on, yeah. man. But yeah. uh, he knows how to 
sell fights. And I was going to say, that's how what, to go after yeah, the right guys and say the, the right platforms things. for it, right? Yeah, you know, and he is one of the greatest cruiserweights of all time. Yeah, I, and again, okay. against this dude, he looked look, look like the greatest looked, fighter of all time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't gonna say the greatest, but, you, but he, I mean, he looked like David. Hay. Against this dude, he looked like the David, the Hay David Hay though of, yeah. of his prime. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I and might then, have to watch that. But then, it's that. <laughs> but it was that dude, you know. Yeah. yeah. And then no we, resistance, and you know when you when you, you don't have resistance, you're good. And then another high level boxing shootout: Tito Ortiz and the Spider. That was crazy. Oh. That was crazy. Oh. Tito still on the ground? Yeah. Uh, oh. Did you watch it? Did you see I seen knockout. I saw the highlight. That's all I needed. Is that even a highlight though? When you like when I watched it, I was like, what the hell? Is this? I mean, if I knocked out Tito Ortiz, I'd definitely replay it a million I'm times. I'm glad. And shout out to the spider. So it's a highlight. Yeah, out. He yeah. finished him too. Yeah, good. It was the right perfect punch at the right time. Yeah. yeah. First round. Because Tito had did, did not get comfortable. No. Was trying to be forceful and all that kind of stuff. And and uh I think Spider prides himself on being relaxed and comfortable in the ring. And that's what he is, you know. Mm -hmm. So um he says, I like boxing. I love the I love the technique that that you need for boxing. He says, I love being able to prepare for boxing matches. And so, you know, my whole thing, especially when I'm talking to these other people who are in boxing, we had that discussion. I said, Why are they picking boxing? And so I'm asking these guys, why why are you picking boxing? They all love the sweet science. Mm -hmm. And you know, the the fans on here, y'all know what the sweet science is. And so I asked that question a couple of weeks ago. Like, why is it these guys are picking boxing? My thing is because it, it the mano y mano, the fact that you know you once you go in the ring, you can't turn around. You know what I mean? And so these was guys, it like Jog brother did that once. Oh yeah, <laughs> which was the other it could have been Jog yeah. brother. Right, right, no, right. It was the other. Oh no, no, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was against yeah, the yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> you don't know the name. No, somebody called Ice. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. called Ice. That was that was that's the memory. What day was it? Yeah. In what year? He's yeah, like yeah. April. Both sides of the ring. It was a cool yeah. That was crazy morning. when he asked Sean that. <laughs> right. He yeah. had a way, that, yeah. the way of them yeah. for you and everything. Uh, barometric pressure was. He asked Sean some random questions and had to answer. I'm like, that, yeah. that was so random. But uh, it, let me say this. I'm School me very bit, critical bro. of the event in total. Sure. I ain't but, mad at you. I can tell that yeah. you are. But I, I, th I think if there's anyone that. <laughs> hey, he get one a show. We know how that goes. If, if there's anyone that I may be the least mad at, it might be Spider. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah, seems yeah. to be the most. He's like maybe the most reasonable to be fighting right yeah. now of those guys out, out of the entire card. Um, looks good. Uh, has now beat Cesar Chavez Jr. and yeah. now Tito Ortiz. Yeah. Good, happy. Yeah. Thank you for beating both of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if anything, maybe any one of the greatest UFC fighters, yeah. even somebody who's not familiar with the UFC. Yeah, I yeah. know he's one of the greatest UFC yeah. fighters of all yeah. time. Yeah. But yeah. I believe it was Curtis Harper. Curtis Harper. Ah, yeah. Oh, why you gonna, why you gonna pull my yeah. 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 pull pan out? Did, yeah. did you pull your, your phone yeah. out? Child okay, okay. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Hey, I didn't. Um, I didn't get to see which round. I just got the box wreck, and yeah. I, I remember the name enough. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. To see yeah, yeah. It. I just I needed to see it. it. Yeah, yeah. Bada bada boom. But yeah, Spider gets him out of there. Um, oh, what? What do you guys think of this? Devin Haney after the fight for Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva tweeted that this guy should have been a boxer. Because he really could have. He's always been nice with the hands. Yeah. In you, you guys think he could have been world champion in boxing had he have uh, began from the get-go? Had his first boxing match in 2013. Uh-huh. And lost, right? Uh, I don't remember. I don't know. I think he I may just, have. I can't remember. I just know yeah. he he's... And that's the one thing that people don't know. Like, so while why everybody's hating and or, or, or being judgmental and saying boxing's dying and UFC's taking over and MMA and you, got, you need to put better fights together, so on and so... Everybody wants to come to boxing. All of those MMA fighters, UFC, they want to come to boxing. You said it last week. Once you sign into the UFC, you can't just do what you want to yeah, do. Right. Yeah. What's my man's name? Know that. Wait, Dana, Dana White. Dana White his, got you. Wait, was his first fight in 1998? Is that what I 1998? saw? 1998. Yeah, he lost his first boxing match in 1998. Fought a guy eight and two. That's kind of tough to start your career. I'm a little confused. Oh, my, my years was way off. I'm a little I must confused. Have been looking by at that, something to be else. Fair, but. Um, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not sure. I guess to answer your question, don't be confused about that because that's how far he back he goes with boxing. Yeah, I, I guess I'm 1998. I was confused because like it, that's just very random, and then all of a sudden he was oh. this UFC fighter. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Um, uh, maybe I don't know. It, it's tough, I guess, for me to, to like Monday morning quarterback it and be like, yeah, maybe he could have been because like, oh yeah, he took a path. He was yeah. one of the greatest of all time at that path. It's, yeah, it's kind of tough. Like he said, maybe he started out as Cabrera. Really, really early on, got in. After that, he got into um, 
uh, the martial arts. And I think boxing came after the martial arts. And then he started to kind of train in other, in yeah. other um, art, arts as well. So that's he's also not a jackass, to be fair. One hundred percent. Like, like of all the people, like, like at all. he was just 100%. he's very cordial. Yeah. He's very polite. Yeah. He's very like. I say he's. A, I was like, this dude is the Michael Jackson of combat sports. Like he is just. What type of comparison? Be, is listen, yeah, listen what to are his you voice. Talking about this dude has the oh, soft. He got a weird voice. voice. He's, no, he's got, got a very, soft. Yeah, he does oh, not. Okay. He's got a very, soft heart. Yeah, and a very soft voice. Yeah, he talks like oh, this. Yeah, he does not have a very deep voice. It's almost like Michael. Jackson. I didn't know. What you were I was about. surprised the first time I heard. I was, him. I was, I was like, like, I was like, yo. Yeah, he, uh, Some people said he, he he looked like my boy Radio Raheem, but shout out to Radio Raheem. Raheem. I see not, it. not that I picture. See but, it. Yeah, yeah. 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 take the ball head off. If you squint until it's this way. Yeah, you got closed one eye. But yeah, I think if anything, he was he was very professional. He didn't say anything crazy. Went in there, knocked out Tito Ortiz, who is. A jackass, for lack of a better <laughs> term. Um, gets him out of there, but then main event, whew, battle for the ages. Oh, somebody, somebody let the PE teacher beat up my granddaddy. I don't know what. I don't know. Man, what, don't know Sean didn't get in the ring, bro. Come on, don't ever let nobody. I'll never let your granddaddy get beat you up that like that. To Evander. Why? Hey. We, we all would have been the guy from Rocky with the throw the damn towel. Yeah, <laughs> the man. second the fight started, I would have been like throw the damn towel. He almost fell out of the ring throwing a punch. The left hook. Yeah. It, it that's that's bad. Man, that looked, that yeah, should that not have happened. Terrible, it man. shouldn't have happened on it in any state and on any level. Exhibition. Yeah, that, you know, shouldn't he better not get in there with Tyson. Yeah. Tyson still look like he can do it a little bit. Yeah, it shouldn't. Happen. Evander Evander's old man. Yeah. <laughs> thankfully, I mean, the man was in war after war. You know? Yeah. He thankfully, was, I guess if anything, yeah. he seemed to be not <laughs> damaged much in the fight. That it was quick. Like, that it was kinda, quick. Got in there and got out, yeah, right. and it's, had it, the audacity to be mad at the stop. Yeah, <laughs> which I was like, "Hey, his grandkid gonna be like, what's up? What's up, granddaddy? Who the hell are you?" <laughs> yeah, oh, don't do that to him. <laughs> yeah, he, that's not funny. But but that's not funny. I, I, I could punch you right now. That's dude, not funny. Were, I, I would actually. I, think was, I wouldn't let you do it. But was it was it Mike Coppinger? I think wrote an article and was like, his kids. I think his grandkids were like, "Don't fight. Like we don't want." You I to would fight. not want. Exactly. Like don't get hit. At, yeah. Hopefully, that's, Evander, you got your little. You got your little taste of it. Yeah. Get out. Right off in the sunset. They, they need to watch reruns of Bo versus Holyfield or, or, yeah. or Holyfield versus yeah. Tyson, the, you know, instead of you, seeing Grandpa a, get in the ring there's now. There's a great invention called YouTube. Just have your kids over, have your grandkids over, have their friends over, throw it up on the big screen, man. Throw up a fight and then be like, Why hey, this, this is how I used to do it back in the day. We don't need to see you get in the ring like that. I mean, come on. And, and you know, I always say somebody need to get hurt. I don't want to see somebody get seriously hurt. That's man. what I'm saying. And it's like, it may happen. Yeah, I hate absolutely. to say it. But we didn't. Yeah, thankfully. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, because I'm like that really could have gone. I mean, he literally <laughs> almost fell out of the ring throwing a punch. And and I I know the game, right? right. As as soon as I as soon as Vitor starts to kind of try to pour it on, my eyes go from the fight to the ref. Yeah, because I know the game, and I literally I watched the ref like he was right there. So <laughs> he was doing hop he was hopscotching it. Yeah, and and I'm and I I know the game. As soon as he goes in, because he has to, yeah. I know the entire crowd's gonna boo. They boo for like two seconds, which I thought was cool, because they Get they could have put they. I was ex, I was expecting them to really pour it on, yeah. but I knew it was gonna happen the way that it did. I knew that the ref was gonna jump in, and I'm like, I'm seeing it all before it happens. And I look, I'm looking at the ref. The ref's like this. I'm like, yeah, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. And then boom, I'm like, it comes the booze. It wasn't too bad. It needed to, and it, it ended the way that it was supposed to end. Uh, yes, as a fighter, Holyfield has an argument. We don't want to. We don't want to see the argument. We don't. We don't necessarily agree with the argument. Yeah. But he's up on his feet. Go out on your shield is what we say. Hell no with this one. Yeah. They the ref did what he what he had to do, and and I was actually glad that the that the crowd didn't like kind of really get up in, the, uh, in yeah. the uproar that I yeah. I had expected because a majority of the crowd doesn't know the game, you know, yeah. definitely not right. not the way I know the game, you know, and so I just I try to be as transparent as possible on on air, like hey, this is what happens now. We've had deaths in this sport most yeah. recently, yeah. a freaking eighteen year old yeah, a couple weeks ago. young lady passed yeah. away, and they did what they had to do. I say everybody's gonna. You're gonna want to see somebody on their back, but a 58 year old, no, you don't want to no. see him on the back. Let, let me ask you this: Are there people? I know the four of us feel the same way. Are there? Do people want to see that? Do people want to see Evander Holyfield knocked down? Yeah, man. Casuals some people do. Some do people. they? Because yeah. that because I some get people. I get like I get some people want to see like 
They watch NASCAR for the crashes. They watch boxing for the knockouts. Because casuals boy. watch boxing. Yeah, exactly. but he's old as hell. Like, yeah, are you really sitting okay? home? Like, that's man, I really. Nuts. I have heard that before. That people watch people NASCAR watch for the NASCAR, crap, If you watch I've hockey for the fights, yeah, like, there's different people seek the thrill. But like, is somebody at home? Like, if you were at home and watched this, and you were like, man, I really wish he would have knocked that 58 year old down. Like, come on, yeah. Like, well, a lot of people said that about Why Tyson, that so Tyson and Roy. Right. They want to see Roy get clipped. Yeah, people want clipped. to see Roy. And get I thought clipped. he was gonna get clipped. But even even they're exponentially younger than Evander is. Still old. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's I don't know. I, I just, told myself I would just try to sway this into like Evander Holyfield appreciation time. So I'm yeah. gonna just do that for a second. Go ahead, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. do your thing. Do your thing. Hundred percent. You know, I'm not saying he's the second hardest guy to beat in heavyweight history, right? He's definitely top 10, but I think that when you're talking about accomplishments in heavyweight boxing history, he's number two behind Ali. Mm -hmm. Only him and Ali have been three-time what we consider lineal heavyweight champion right. of the world. Just right. those two. And, right. and if you're counting sanctioning bodies like the WBA, oh, yeah. he's, a four, he's the only four-time heavyweight champion yeah. in boxing yeah. history. Yeah. The guy, when... He, He's, his resume is just it, the only guy who could really equal it is Ali because he beat Tyson, Foreman, Holmes, Michael Moore, Hasim Rahman, and more. But mm. those are five guys right there who weren't just had a belt. They yeah. were heavyweight champion of the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, I should have, I probably should have done this before I got on here, but he may hold the record for most legit heavyweight champions beaten mm. on his record. Mm. So one could say he's the real deal. You, nah. you could thank you so hello but <laughs> on top of all that right second most <laughs> accomplishments behind ali heavyweight history Why yeah say hello <laughs> no hello yeah he, thank you yeah he, but, yeah hello that's that's <laughs> you know i'm, I'm messing like, you up i'm like sorry go ahead man, really the real deal holy it's fear. not content you don't hear people saying oh, that man. in 2020 look, he looks scary and mean. in his prime when he had his hair yeah and then and then yeah. and then and then right now since you were there just look and when he had back, both ears think back to yesterday okay okay <laughs> but even with only one of them he's bad but, but like think back look at this guy like how tough he was then look look at yesterday where he looked he looked like he was lost in a swimming pool with so, his shirt off so, and then on top of all that. Yesterday? Yeah, the fight. And then on top of all that, greatest cruiserweight in boxing history. Should have had the gold medal. Won the silver, Kevin Barry, blah, blah, blah. Or I think Kevin got the silver. Anyways, should have had the bronze. gold medal. We got the bronze, right? Mm -hmm. Should have had the gold. Um, yeah, and, and, and then lastly, you know, for someone who will say, well, you know, he got beat by Lennox Lewis. And he was 37. And when they ran it back, he, he almost beat Lennox Lewis past his prime. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. Anyways, and uh, is losing to Lennox Lewis like something to to Jones on? For some reason, about? that's like, who they always bring up yeah, to me. Dude lost that's who they always. Oh, but he lost dude. to Lennox Lewis, right? He, like yeah, Lennox uh, Lewis ain't, uh, right, ain't right. Lennox Lewis. He, right. he also beat what a lot of people consider our goat, Mike Tyson, right? Yeah. By knockout. Hey, a lot of people don't even think about that. It's like Mike Tyson's the goat by knockout. Yeah, yeah. when he was old, er, than Mike Tyson, right? Yeah. So, yeah, Evander, legend. salute wherever, yeah. whichever right. camera I'm supposed to salute to. Stay out the ring, bro. Stay out the ring, please. We all ask. We yeah, all ask yeah. nicely. He say you want to run it back. Don't run it back. Okay. And would, then you get, would you? Would you? Would you? Would you fight? Uh, uh, Evander? Good? Yeah. Yeah, I'll fight Evander. You would, <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, you would. Not. Yeah, yeah, I'll fight Evander. Nah, no. Yeah, way. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, just bone rush him. Yeah. I'm younger than you. I got, I got, I got a minute thirty seconds of the, bone rushing. Get him with the Goldberg spear. Uh, no, I'm a, I'm gonna throw him things. Come uh, okay. on. Right. Now, if he hit me, it might be a problem. Yeah, yeah. But then I get, as long as I get paid, as long as y'all make sure my check is in the locker room <laughs> yeah. when they cart me back to the locker. That's all I ask. That's you, the, as they really, the reason as they why really I ask that, you say, is the check in there? All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> send me out. You know they get a thumbs up when they yeah. when they getting football players out the out the out the game when they really yeah. got. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, hey, he's I'm getting right. my check. He's gonna <laughs> he's gonna lean back and be like, checks over there. All right, yeah, take it easy. <laughs> Well, and I was I was wondering if Vitor was going to do that. I was wondering if Vitor was going to go out there and like kind of if the fight was going to be carried. Carried him, not, yeah. yeah. You know, I don't want to I don't want to make it seem, sound like he's got to take it easy, but yeah. you know, I didn't know if it was going to be like the an entire the um, half the fight was going to be a filling out process. I wasn't sure. You know, it started out as a filling out process, but yeah, I'm not sure how mad to be at Bell for it. Like you signed yeah. the fight, they La Hoya, it yeah. doesn't happen. You fight yeah. Evander, like. Somebody was extremely mad at Belfort after the fight. They were I, like, I heard yeah. they were I, like, "You shouldn't. He shouldn't have done. There's no class in knocking out. What? Knocking him out. Uh, to be there's fair, no. I I don't I understand what they're saying. Like, yeah. 
but he sh- it shouldn't have happened. Well, so what if Evander would have knocked him out? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was, it, it, Vitor is not the, the whole commission. Thing shouldn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> it's not Vitor's job to check this man's health, or yeah. it's his job to fight. Mm-hmm. It's not the commission lets him in. And the checks there. You I told a story a long time ago when we went down to Southern Ohio for a fight, fighting a kid with no fights. I got like 50 fights. And my dad, <laughs> my dad gets in the ring after one round. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to carry this kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear to God, my dad, he t- he got in the ring and he didn't say nothing. He just turned and looked. And then when he turned back, he was like, all right, get on his ass because <laughs> I don't, something don't feel right. You know what I mean? It. You 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 take it easy, and then you know it it, tur- it turns around. <laughs> it turns around the other way. You know what I mean. So while having that conversation, I understood what the gentleman was saying, and I, I do I do to an extent agree. Like hey, you know let's let's give the fans what they want without you know overdoing it. You know, and then also of course underdoing it, but. Yeah. You know, it didn't happen that it's way. It's hard to be critical in the ring. Like, yeah. it's hard for me to be like, and that's you really why I shouldn't have put a put yeah. foot on the gas in the ring. Yeah. Like, yeah. beforehand, maybe you could say, e- maybe this isn't for me. Yeah. But I don't know, whatever. And then. I wonder how De La Hoya would have went, how, uh, how he would have fared. I, I wouldn't have been in, wouldn't have been yeah. in that either. I almost said something wild. I, <laughs> but I was more interested in that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. You know. How's he's he not doing? How's he doing? Hope, he's out of the hospital, I think. Okay. So. Hopefully he's good. It, it was a weird weekend of boxing. Then you go to Friday, ESPN fights. Another fight that had a lot of dark Neg- clouds yeah, around very it. negative yeah. press yeah. on that one. Rightfully so, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. But, um, you were there. I was. Yeah. One, of the, few, Arizona. one of the few media. But, yeah. but the crowd was packed, that's for sure. No yeah. wonder they let the fight go on because mm. they showed up and showed out for Valdez. That is definitely his hometown. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was, you know... Still a good night of fights. Uh, but right behind us here, we have Junto Nakatani. Junto, you know. No relation? No, to Mas- Masayoshi Taka- uh, Nakatani, no. But these Japanese fighters. You I, go all the way with it. I'd have been, I'd just be like, no, not the other Nakatani. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> no relation to I the mean, other still Nakatani. Got it, bro. Oh. <laughs> yeah, his nose was broken. <laughs> so these Japanese fighters, this era of Japanese yeah. fighters that are starting to fight in America, they, the fighters from Japan were always. <laughs> Sean and Anderson. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. in the fighter meeting, Anderson Silva said, he said, I hate blood. I don't I don't like to see blood. And I was thinking, I was like, yeah, me, me neither. <laughs> but everybody who's not a fighter, like you right here, everybody who's not a fighter is like, how could you hate blood? And he and he goes into how he hates blood. I'm over here like, yep, me too. I just that. <laughs> mm-mm. Like, it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, that's what you do, though. Yeah, I know it's what I do, but it doesn't happen to me. Yeah. So what do you? What, so what's your reaction when you see that? When okay. it happened to them, especially in, in sparring, if I see if I see somebody leaking, I'm like, yo, get that. What about in the ring? <laughs> get that. I think I've seen you do that once. In a get fight? That. He actually tried to, you, if you slowed it down, he actually tried to put a Band-Aid on Polly's cheek after he caught him. He, he said, no, oh, no, blood. Try to plant one on there. Uh uh-uh. uh. When I see, when I saw, uh, I cut him. Paul, the very said, first jab I threw, I was like, "Welcome oh, to hell." <laughs> but but anyway, go ahead yeah. with the other so knock, knock, yeah, knock We want to see. We want to see that guy next fight, Sean. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. that Malinazi Sean yeah. Porter. So yeah. If we get yeah. that, woo, yeah. Yeah. woo. Yeah, That's knock, what we need to see, Sean. Nakatani, I got you. I got you. Uh, Holds um, onto his belt. Uh, so Nakatani, these guys, Inoue, him, uh, the prospect Subaru Murata that I've been seeing. You know, these fighters from Japan, they were always workmen-like guys, mm-hmm. grinders. Just boom, 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 boom. Not, not a lot of power, not a lot of dy- not dynamic, not explosive, just in great shape and tough. Yeah. And work, 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 work. These guys are starting to ha- have some heat. They Offensively, they're becoming explosive. Defensively, work to be done. Yeah. But these guys coming over to America are, are bringing some heat now. Mm-hmm. It's not just do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. This Nakatani kid, his left hand has some shit on it, and mm-hmm. and and a new way that speaks it for blood. itself. So that that's my book on these Japanese fighters right now. They're exciting. Uh, now, are they going to have the defensive abilities to to be well rounded? That remains to be seen. But they're fun to watch. Yeah. So I'm gonna start paying more attention to them, and not just them, but who's in their corners. A lot of times when you see, uh, like. Um, like uh, uh, Alvarez, no, but like Alvarez. Who yeah. else is in that camp? Valdez, uh, Valdez, Valdez, Ryan Garcia. And you start to see traces yeah. of a style. The traces that, of the style. Yeah. The traces of it and not substances. being just the fighter and the fighter's ability, <laughs> the fighter's <laughs> abilities, but also who's behind that fighter. You know what I mean? So, it'd be interesting to see you saying that. What are they doing to, to that's making that's 
right. changing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like what's what's because explosiveness is kind of like you either got it or you don't. You know, um, like, or is that not true, Sean? I think I think it is, but I think that you you can build on things. You know, right? Uh, I think that the the I think explosiveness is kind of more so your style. I think that that's that's more so a matter of your style. You know, you got that guys that can thump. You got guys that are all about the speed. You got guys who are about the speed to set up a big punch. Sugar Shane was known for doing that. Da, 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 boom. You know what I mean? Um, the explosiveness that 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 Shane had, I think that that was natural. My explosiveness is natural. Um, there, I think that 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 is something that is more natural. Mm -hmm. And then of course you you train to to use it effectively. But you're right because we've seen Canelo get more explosive. Yeah. So obviously you know it is something that can be. Yeah. 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 Yeah, his left hand was nasty. And then on the next fight, we had Gabe Flores Jr. Whew. Yeah. He got the dog shit. What you think, Carson? Him. My oh, goodness. Well, tell us what you really feel. Yeah, no, he and he was supposed to be, I, I think, going into that fight, I don't know what the odds were, but he was I supposed think to win. <laughs> plus like, 5,000, I think. Yeah, I like he was, yeah, Anthony, you're a betting guy. That, he, he's that's, undefeated. That's a, that's, a long, like, that's a long shot. Is he yeah. undefeated before this fight? Yeah. 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 And he had was, just had his best performance. He knocked out Jason Velez. Who went the distance with Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Gave Ryan Garcia fits. Like he was supposed to go in there and, and have this showcase, and he got absolutely smoked. He got his boots smoked. Oh, and, well, we're watching it again. And, yeah. How old is he? Twenty-one. Yeah, that was all. So all his bad. dad got a lot of flack after the fight. Mm -hmm. um, letting him go. Yeah, for letting it continue, but because it, we've all heard everywhere that side of the story. You know, I, I know Gabe's father, and I think I think his point is. Look, I wanted to stop the fight, but my son is a grown man. If he's telling me round after round, I'm fine. Let me go in there. I'm going to let my son be a grown man tonight and make his decision. Now, we all know, dude, you know, you're the corner man. You're supposed to make your decision irregardless of what he's yeah. saying. You got to have your own eyes in there. Mm -hmm. But I, I just, I understand where seniors coming from too. Curious, what, like, what do you guys yeah, think? Yeah, what do you think as far as like I think a, you got to save your fighter. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, sure. Is it something where you have to remove yourself from that? Do you think KP dad? would stop the fight if you were getting hammered round after see, round? I didn't see what happened, but I, I'll speak to what I know. Hypothetically, you were getting just absolutely yeah, No, no, no. I, I'm going to speak to what I know. Um, uh, What's his record now? I know he was 21 undefeated. and 1. He's 21. So he was 21, 21 and 0 going right. into the ring. 21 years old. Dreams of being everything in boxing. Yep. Yeah. And it's all, you're about to lose it all right now. You're 21 and you're about to lose it right now. You're undefeated. Not, no professional fighter in the camp. Nobody wants to see that loss. Especially in the Mayweather era. Especially post Mayweather especially era. Especially in the post Mayweather era. And so you, you I, I really, I put all the onus on the dad because the dad, I'm going to keep it real. What I think is that the dad is looking at the future and seeing that the future is about to end right now. And I don't want the future to end right now. If my son can hold on, and my, if my son can, can somehow do something, then we'll make it through this night. He'll rest and he'll recover. And, and then we'll be okay moving forward. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out and we'll, we'll be okay moving forward. They did not want to let that go in this night. That, to me, is what it boils down to. Um, come at me for this one. <laughs> If I'm wrong, come at me because that's what I feel that it boils down to. This is what happens. We all know that if we take that loss, depending on how we get that loss, this one's a bad one. We're going to we're gonna take a few steps back. We're going to have to start from ground zero. He's a top-ranked fighter. We see what happens to top rank. You can't help but see the future in the moment yeah. and not understand the present in the moment. And I think that that's what happened. I think that dad got lost track of the present. The fact that this is my son and I and we st we have to live through this and what's gonna happen after this. I think that he was only thinking about what what he's gonna what they're gonna lose. I don't want to put it on the, all on the dad like he's yeah, yeah. but right. what they're gonna lose, what the team is gonna lose, and what may not happen if they don't win tonight. That's what I think happens. And, and I think a lot of people would assume the opposite. A lot of people would think it's your dad in the corner. I think Angel Garcia even mentioned it when before you fought. They, Jim Gray was kind of asking the dads, and he said, at times it's kind of like, oh, you know, don't, like, are you okay? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So I think a lot of people would assume, you know, your son is getting taxed. And he and this wasn't like a he's being tactically broken down. He is getting obliterated. Mm -hmm. You would think the dad would be like, oh, my gosh, I, emotion takes over. It's my kid. I'm out. I think you're, he you're wanted to, but opposite. his son kept convincing him. I, well, yeah, I, I and I can speak to, to that because my dad uh, one day opened up to me Telling me that he he had some thoughts during the Keith Thurman fight, a fight where that 
a majority of that fight or depending on who, what you think, I, we both were in that fight. Yeah. We both were, were, were in that fight to win that fight. And I couldn't believe when my dad said that to me, but somehow, some way, as a father with real emotions and understanding my son has to live beyond this day, he, he thoughts were going through his head and then the way that the fight's going... We get back on the, we get things out of control. That's a moment. Okay, that was just a moment. Let me let it go. I never forget the first time I get in the in the. I come back to the corner and my dad looks at me and he says, "You all right?" I never had my dad ever say that to me. He said, "You all right?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "He said what happened?" I said, "I don't know. Coach me." <laughs> and, and we kept it moving. You know what I mean? But that's control. That's understanding. Yeah. That's being realistic. That's having um, compassion. And all that, I think that you do, you lose it. I think that it's a roller coaster ride for for dads who are in the corners with their with their sons. And I think it's a it's a it's delicate, so delicate that even Mauricio Suleiman some years ago was talking about banning fathers from coaching their sons. But I don't think that that'll ever happen. Yeah, no. But mm-hmm. you know, but, things like this are why other people want to step in and stop it. What's was up? It, was it just a big shot that your dad? It was a way? big shot in one of the rounds uh, near the end, near the end of the I round. I mean, there's a round where you get a little buckled. Yeah. Yeah. I, Cause I was like, this, that wasn't a fight. Like, it wasn't like the Kel Brook fight. I, at some point, he could have <laughs> just been like, okay, like we're good. This is enough. But like yeah. that fight was very close. Was it take, was close. Sean was taking bombs. It yeah. was close. Y'all yeah. say, bomb, you, said bomb, you said bomb so hard. Though. Not against Brook. So, no, you Sean, threw yeah. bomb so hard. Thurman was playing his bombs. You talking about Thurman, right? Yeah, yeah. You talking about Thurman, right? Your yeah, face is talking about Thurman. You. Yeah. Right. I know what you're saying to me. <laughs> my Listen. hair hurt. <laughs> that was my, my bad. I'm sorry. I don't care about Pat B. Look at Pat B. But what I'm saying, like, you say a couple, you took a couple bombs. Like, don't say you, you was taking bombs. Yeah. Like, the entire I guess, fight. No, I guess, don't look at the camera like, <laughs> I, I, I guess that's what that's what I was surprised that it was just like a Hey, big shot, uh, Carson, like, was he taking bombs? A couple of bombs. Yeah, 100%. But a couple of bombs, you, but... And you know what? You, but Atlanta. you survived them. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's count the bombs. It was three bombs about. <laughs> Roughly. You were taking Roughly. and landing them, Sean. Yeah. But yeah. anybody else would have been out of there. But don't, because yeah. if you didn't see the fight, somehow you didn't see the fight. <laughs> Go I'm talking to people that didn't see the fight. Fight from, from, your box, yeah, from your boxing champions, YouTube, you'll find the fight. Hell um, fight it's, a great, it's a great match. I guess. Bombs being landed on, bo- on, from, on left and right from both of us. Bombs <laughs> and bombs. <laughs> hell, of, hell of a fight. But, hell of a fight. I guess that, I but, guess to but get I, it back. I'm yeah. surprised that it was it was just a big shot that maybe jarred him and was like uh-oh. yeah exactly it wasn't something like this fight was just continual yeah man my son is really just getting the brakes off yeah. him and yeah. that wasn't the case obviously and then yeah. tactically it was it, and by the way Gabe I talked to him I interviewed him the day before the fight he was very nasally he didn't yeah. even he didn't bring nothing up about being sick but I asked him are you sick and, and I think he was. Mm-hmm. And uh, and he sneezed and said, nope. But apparently Gabe <laughs> didn't want to bring that up. I'm bringing it up. For, yeah. you know. But he didn't want to bring that up after the fight. So kudos to him for that. Yeah. Because guys bring up excuses when in reality the they didn't even exist. Yeah. He actually did have a cold, I think. He, mm-hmm. he was sick. But also, you know, in the fight, beyond that, though, he, he had this big left hook knockout of Velez last time. And right from the opening bell, he's winging hooks. And he's not a puncher. Even yeah. when you get a big knockout, when you're a boxer, you can't go crazy with mm-hmm. the home run swings. Mm-hmm. And he's <laughs> and he's the cards pointing at you right now. But he, you know, he's on Ozzy Kelbrook. He he kind of similar circumstance. He, he starts with the hook right away, and you know, Stop cracking your knuckles. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but you should start with the jab first, yeah. and then find the hook more time. I mean, never, you, you never you know. Are you that. telling yeah, him how yeah, to yeah, fight? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Hey, I'm making making sure he's right, but he knows you're right. 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 Yeah, yeah. So he does that, and before, early on, now you're in a fight with this Mexican warrior. Yeah. When you when you have fast hands, or you're the box box this guy, and and it, it it looks like to me when you try to switch it up halfway halfway through and start boxing when you're already in a fight, you can't. Mm-hmm. You, you're in a fight now, mm-hmm. and so it, it it's got to go the other way around. You start boxing, and then you start you, fighting. You but mentioned that. Is. I don't but, I don't care remember what fight it was, but you said when somebody has the momentum going forward. It's tough to flip the momentum of literally fighting more kind of coming back. I can't think what, what fight it was. Say? Because I can't think of who it was. But we were saying like, yeah, if you they're mean, just like keep, physically somebody. Yeah, because somebody if, if somebody's coming out aggressive, uh-huh. it's tough to like Zytel said, flip it and then all of a sudden say, Okay, I can box. Until I, that so that guy being aggressive, it's it's hard for him to flip it and yeah, then yeah, start yeah. to I kind can, of I can't think I can't hmm. think of the life of me think of what fight it was, but we talked about it on here, I think, and it was something we were just saying. 
you're naturally, your momentum's going forward, so you're used to that. Yeah. And it's tough to flip that and then start to kind of go backwards. I don't yeah. know fight it was. I don't remember either. It but, sounds so familiar, yeah. but... Maybe it was <clears> stupid <throat> at the time and we just for said forget it forever. <laughs> and again, like, I don't want to step on anyone's dreams. Yeah. I don't want to... I don't want to... This is one loss. I don't, I don't... Well, no, I'm not even speaking direct... Well, kind of directly to him, but I mean, the, in, in the grand scheme of things... Um, Devin Haney turned really, he turned pro really young. I, yeah. uh, he might've been 16, 17, 16, 16, 16, 15, maybe even 15, no, but I think yeah, 16, he, yeah, 16, he was 16, 16 when yeah. he turned pro and for the outsiders, he's like, what? This kid's 16 and he's doing that. Yeah. But imagine when he's 21, he's already five years in. Yeah. You know what I mean? And not, not to say that he's taking five years of punishment, but where I am, 22 when I turned pro, 21, almost 22 when I turned pro, I'm very much so um, in my manhood, I think uh, maybe mature maturity and, 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 and mentally not, not so much, but physically in my manhood, a 16 year old kid is not. So as this 16 year old, 16 year old kid approaches manhood, 21, you're still not a man. This kid turned pro really early. And he is definitely not have his man strength yet. You, you, yeah. your, your brain capacity at a young age, you can't, you don't, you're not developed enough to understand things and get the kind of experience that you need so that when something like that happens and you're being aggressive and you coming out with the hook immediately, you got all these other tools, you don't understand that so early in the game. And so, just saying that to say where, where you look at it and you may think that a kid turning pro at early at 16 or 18 may be good. I'm not saying that you should wait until 21. I'm not saying that everybody should wait till they're 23 yeah. to turn pro. But it's in a fighter's best interest to turn pro when they're closer to being a man and they're closer to uh, being able to um, intake information, uh, grow, improve. Uh, and all of that and then take all of that to the ring and translate it in the ring it's very hard to do when you're 21 it's hard to do you know it's, it's hard to do when you're 25 yeah. you know what I mean so give yourself the grace that you need give yourself the time to develop and a lot of us man we're, we're so successful early that we think we're ready and um as long as you take the right, right steps you, once the time is right you are ready I mean, you speak to Ennis yeah that dude is is amazing to me I he's I don't see very many athletes in boxing, and so when I see an athlete, I get really geeked out. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm a, like I'm an athlete, so when I see other athletes, I get really geeked up. And even though he is 100 athlete, even though I've said he's gonna be a champion, all that kind of stuff, and then I say, well, yeah, he should still take his time, and he should still, you know, pick the right fights at the right moments and stuff like that, is because I don't want something like this to happen. I don't want him to get in the ring thinking that he's in full control, and then something happens that he hasn't experienced yet, and he doesn't know how to go through it. You know, so that's the the that's the advantage of having uh, being older in the game is that you have experience and then even if you don't have a certain experience you have a, a level of maturity um mentally uh where you can be able to do the things you need to do to survive to make adjustments to follow the game plan and all that kind yeah. of stuff you know and everyone's paths can be different something that worked for yeah Devin Haney turning pro at 16 doesn't yeah. work for John Doe at pro yeah. turning pro at 16. So, yeah. And yeah. I think Gabe could still definitely come back. It's, it's one he's, loss. He's got yeah. fast hands. Early in his yeah. yeah. 21, one yeah. loss. It, you move past it. Whatever. Um, main event was high, probably shouldn't have happened. Let's just Fair enough there. disclaimer that. Yep. But um, not an easy night for Oscar Valdez. That was a good especially fight. Especially early on. It was a good, real good fight, actually. Yeah. yeah I mean, he's never in a bad one. Yeah. <laughs> which, which, you know. Mm -hmm. Makes me still very fond of Valdez, you know, fond of all the great yeah. fighters in our sport. But a, a, while, you. You know, <laughs> while I'm watching the fight, I'm not thinking about none of the outside stuff. Right. I'm in really enjoying the fight. I, right. Because I was the and I was the opposite. That's what right. I was like. I was like, yeah, I, I, like I was just I was annoyed. I was, you like, know, don't get it's, it's and it's not. It's just it's hard. You know, part of it was still hard not to give him his props because once the like you said, once the bell rings, it's like okay, now I'm watching the fight mm -hmm. and. This guy, Conceicao, was so much bigger than him yeah. and was winning early. And for Valdez to go after the bigger guy when he looks like a 126-pounder fighting a 130-pounder, just give him props for that. You know, that's... that's he it's deserved like a, he had something extra. Like, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. He's, he's now open to those kind of jokes. But yeah, I well, still give him props for, for, okay, I'm down early. 
And then right he at the moment, he lost the first five rounds. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you could have said, yeah, he was down. Yeah, four one five zero yeah. three two or four one. Yeah. I had it, a five zero. Oh. I, yeah. I, I had it. Uh, I didn't. There was one round. I think it might have been the fifth that he landed a big shot that people maybe swayed. And that's them what maybe maybe other. he took but, that round. Right. Um, yeah, Conte Sal was Duke of Bach, but then at the foot off the gas. He was out jabbing Valdez. Oh. He was beating him, yeah. outworking him, and then he starts to showboat a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. And just like Tony Harrison versus Jermel Charlo, the rhythm and the momentum gone and it starts to go the other way mm -hmm. and and so valdez he puts his gloves up you were talking about with the japanese fighters looking at their trainers yeah he does the reynoso canelo stuff he mm -hmm. puts his hands up mm -hmm. in, in that canelo kind mm -hmm. of rhythm mm -hmm. and he starts digging mm -hmm. and he turns the fight around mm -hmm. he goes at he wanted it more mm -hmm. because he was willing to keep his nose in there and 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 put on the kind of bombs that won him the fight. I know some people thought Conceição won the fight. He outlanded him by eighty punches. Yeah, oh, shoot. but that threw him by a lot as well. But he took a lot of snap off his shots. Even though his jab kept connecting, he took a lot of snap off his shot. It, you know, Olympic gold medalist kind of fought like one after yeah. the first four rounds. Mm -hmm. He trailed off a little bit, although he made a nice rally towards the end. Yeah. But in the heart of the fight, he just let Valdez win round after round, go after him, land the bombs to the body, land that big left hook enough, and, and won the fight. Now, it wasn't his most important, impressive performance at all. Uh, like Carson said, almost all the boxing world felt the fight shouldn't have even happened in the yeah. first place. But all that said, after all the deserved criticism he had, he still fought and performed like a true champion. And... I can't help but give him credit for that. I, I didn't like a couple of things I didn't like after the fight from him. I thought he won, and and anyone that watches knows I prefer clean boxing from the outside. But I right. still think I still think he beat Conte Sal just because he took his foot off the gas so right. much. But um, in the in the post fight press conference or the interview in the ring, a couple of things he was acting as if this was something. Oh, I had to overcome this week. I had to do, but it was like you did it. This <laughs> wasn't like this wasn't something that somebody made up a rumor or somebody did something like. This was self-inflicted. You did this. Deal with it. I understand it sucked, but it sucked because you had something in your system you shouldn't have. The other thing was the most, the number one most overused line in boxing. He <laughs> ran the whole fight. <laughs> yeah, because y'all didn't run. And and you're saying that no. as you have cuts above your, <laughs> yeah, your face is tore up and yeah. he ran the whole fight. You know, I'm sorry to the fans. I couldn't. He but you like, hear from the loser. Right. And I'm just like, but he clearly didn't run the whole fight unless his foot somehow kicked you in the face <laughs> 75 times and cut you like that. He didn't run. But um, yeah, he, get, he gets the win. Um, hopefully, this is, again, me being optimistic. Hopefully, he never has any issues with banned substances again. Mm -hmm. He... Because he's a likable guy. You mentioned it. Tim Bradley mentioned it. After I mean, he, he has character. Up, like, you he, don't fight through the stuff he's fought through without having yeah. something. Fun fighter you know? to watch. Like, has this huge win versus Burchell. Like, outside of everything we've found out recently, he's an extremely likable fighter and somebody you'd root for. So, hopefully, he moves past it. And I'm all about giving people second chances. Yeah. But I'm going to give you second chance. That's it. That's it. So, <laughs> I can't big baby you and you keep effing up, effing up, effing up. That's your thing. And, yeah, you. Yeah, you. I'll give people a second chance. Uh -huh. And the one but positive, to, <laughs> huh? but just two. <laughs> yeah, uh, I could probably give you one. Yeah, <laughs> two. <just> one. Uh, <laughs> so he, this is his one chance. Yeah, that's it. It's just like you can't. If it happens again, like it is. Then, it is. then none of those excuses yeah. are landing. Yeah. If, if no. this happens again, it's not a. I was drinking all these teas and and, and all that. So yeah. But, Hey, you know, life is about second chances. So yeah. hopefully it gets again. Yeah. He's still a young guy. I'm I've been probably the most critical of any of us, yeah. but hopefully this is it. Hopefully from now on we have no issues with this. I think most of us all had second chances in life. Yeah. And I've had five or six. Yeah. And <laughs> might might have a good fight on the horizon against the winner of Aaron And Stanford. that's the one positive yeah. is that before this fight, coming off that Burchelt win, he's he he wasn't that excited or enthusiastic about fighting the winner. He wasn't. And and now he knows he has to to prove himself again. That, that's the one positive is that now I think you're going to get Valdez really head first into that fight. He's not going to try and sidestep it yeah. or not come into the fight 100%. I think this, he's it's all over again. Now he's got to prove himself all over again. Seems like to prefer Shakur. It seems, I think he thinks Shakur is going to win. And there's been some back and forth, I think, where they kind of said, no, oh, he doesn't want to fight me. So he was saying, I want to fight the winner, but I think he's sitting there like, I hope Shakur wins. So I, didn't I, fight him. I think that'd be more money with Shakur than him. Yeah, and, and I just, I think he genuinely feels Shakur's going to win the fight. Yeah. So we'll yeah, see. But, and Shakur's his size, more his size. Harry yeah. would be 
bigger than Valdez. Yeah, gets the win though. You know, you get you get past it. Um, oh, we're not gonna talk about one seventeen one ten. That was a bad card. Tim Bradley <laughs> said that dude needs to be fired. Tim yeah. Bradley said he was on the Come payroll. On, man. Yeah. And I'm like, which payroll, Tim? Yeah. You know, but. And and like I mentioned, I think he won the first five rounds. I'm pretty sure that judge had him winning two of the first five rounds. Like, yeah, it was, that, was, that was bad. I was probably. <laughs> and also, we don't have to touch on that long. The point deduction was very strange. I was there at the fight and missed it. Yeah. It That's was how like, bad it must have been. Yeah, no, it, was, it was a very odd, like, all of a sudden. Behind the head. Like, yeah, he was just. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was kind of bullshit. Like, right, right, he was right. kind of bullshit. Like, he wasn't, like, landing rabbit, but he was kind of, like, just, like, doot, doot, like oh, just yeah. kind of yeah. tapping on the That's back not even leg. illegal. Yeah, and then like, gets a point, and the ref was just oh, like, no. Weak. Yeah, it, it was weird. Hometown point deduction there. Yeah, it seemed mm -hmm. like it. Because Valdez hit him with something big in the left. And think how close that, I mean, that card, the other two were 115, 112. So, I mean, I would mean, still would have won. It wouldn't have swayed the result, but 115, 113 is a pretty damn close fight. Um, yeah. Literally as close as possible. I would have appreciated but. Reynoso taking some questions before the fight. I don't think letting his fighter take all the heat was cool. He And he tweeted, I know, that... Some, yeah, that, on some, Monday. Yeah, oh, somebody sure. was critical, and it's like, oh, yeah, now we're, when you're not around, all these reporters, sure, yeah, I'm, I'm, sure. willing, I'm willing to answer all these questions. <laughs> I'm sure I could give you a phone call right now, and, and you'll, you'll be, be willing like, oh, to do an interview. Sure. <laughs> Please, yeah, <laughs> let me talk about banned substances. Um, and, and I think on, on the previous... Kudos to... I've been critical of Tim Bradley. Kudos to the ESPN team. They they lit Valdez's ass up the entire night. They brought up banned substances and failing that test. Every turn, it was like... By the way, this guy failed. This guy failed the test. <laughs> so shout out to them because you're, I mean, you're literally broadcasting the fight and you're criticizing something that I think needed to criticize. But Tim was even, I think it was Tim said, like, you could bring, and I'm not sure if you can vouch for this, like, if you're taking certain things, you can take them to. Uh, can I say that before? Uh, I don't know if you mentioned that. You can take it to Vada and be like, hey, yep. these are the things I'm taking. Yep. Let me know if these are bad. But you did mention that, right? Did he yeah. mention that? Yeah, and I think it was Tim, at, Tim or Dre on the broadcast. I got like, sick one time. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got sick one time. It was before Errol Spence Jr. I, just like a day, two day code or whatever. Excuse. And uh, Excuse. <laughs> and um, I was, I went to the store and got Robitussin. And my dad's like, "What you doing?" So that Chris Rock I'm joke is tussin. true. I'm taking some Tussin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> taking some Tussin. He said, is it, is it, is it, can you take it? Is that fetamine in it? I said, what you mean? He said, get online. You can get online. Yeah. Fighters turning pro, fighters that are already pro. You get online, you can type the substances oh, that's good in. To know. Is it just Va Vada that does that? Mm, I, Vada. It seemed like they Hopefully were Hopefully it's not just Vada. I think that's what, I, to be fair, that's what they were referencing when they said that. That's yeah. why I asked. Okay. They, I think well, they said it was Vada. I, yeah, the only one I've ever dealt with is Vada, yeah. so. Uh, and, and the others, y'all yeah, probably should follow suit because yeah. that helps the fighters that Keeps them out of trouble yeah. and look makes y'all look good. So thank you, Vada, for yeah, doing that. Absolutely. I, I started doing that when I was like 16 or 17. Yeah. And um, even something as simple as Robitussin, you can type it in, typed it in, it didn't come up. Guess what? There's a link. You can call somebody. Yeah. I ended up getting on the phone with somebody that said, no, Tussin's good. You can take Robitussin. Boom. I got it. And I'm cool in a couple of days. Yeah. It really is that easy. So when guys saying I, they don't know or guys saying, you know, Coach gave me that person gave it. It's just no excuse. And they were saying like you could drop because I think he's in San Diego. I don't know where Vada is, California oh, somewhere. But it is in California. They were, North. They were, they were, damn, they, they, yeah, they were like you could have driven yeah. there with a basket of the stuff and put it down and said, hey, test although this. Southern North California, you know, it's yeah, big no, state. but see, yeah, yeah, so, get in the car. <laughs> but then when you when you take a look at who's saying it, it's Tim yeah. Tim Bradley saying yeah. it. Andre, Tim Andre does it. Andre co-signing it. Great great fighters. Professional and amateur always did their due diligence, yeah. and it's you got to get other other guys aren't like us, and so you got to number one, you got to give them the information. Then yeah. number two, we are immature athletes. Yeah. You got to push us into doing what we got to do until we get the flow of it yeah. and understand that this is what needs to happen. Because so. me not being a boxer, like if I'm like if I'm sick, like you like in that situation, yeah, I'm not even thinking for a second, yeah, that something might test positive and drug yeah. test. Like I'm yeah. like. I have a cold. I need to get this out of my system. And my you, my dad don't play around because yeah, I I'm again sure. I've been doing this since I was seventeen. I yeah. said it's cool. He said figure nah, it out anyway. Sure you know so yeah. Sean, but, but it can it can be done. Have you, you know? ever fought a guy that you suspected maybe maybe he's don't say no oh, names. No, no names. So. Obviously no names. I really don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. That's good to hear. Shout out to our guy. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to our guy. It's good to hear. I don't know who our guy is. I don't know either. 
Yeah, but because uh, I don't know. After all this, I just don't know what to think. And, and I, I don't know Bradley if guys was, are getting away with it. And he was not. really harping on the hair follicle test. Yeah, because Canelo, to his credit, was very willing to do that after he tested positive. Said, "Hey, check," because that is a longer shelf life to mm. see kind of what's been in your system. Mm. So, wow. um, yeah, we'll we'll see. But I knew that. Um, yeah, we'll see what Valdez does. Um, we were supposed to have a fight this week. One of the fight of the year candidates. Yeah. Yeah. Fulton and Figueroa. Figueroa. And it was going to be a fight of the year. Shootout, candidate. man. Yeah. That was going to be a fun one to watch. But Shout out to Figueroa's sister. Has it, yeah. that, has it been rescheduled re, uh, yet? Not, Not like yet. that, man. Not yet. Shout out to her for holding the heat to us after we were wrong. Yeah. Her I'm respecting I think is what your you boxing saying. game. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because she did. Right, right, right. Yeah. She came after yeah. you. Yeah. 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 But the, uh, yeah. It was me, wasn't it? Yeah, it was you. But uh, yeah, we're supposed to have that. We do have, by the time you're listening to this, would be Tuesday. <laughs> There's a purse bit on Tuesday. Is it on Tuesday? Uh, the 14th. This is going to get pushed back anyway. Oh, so. yeah. Oh. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't you say that. I'm getting excited about it. I am too, but I'm also. I, I don't know, but the people keep running with this. Bob Arum said November 20th in uh, Mandalay Bay, I think. Yep, Las Vegas. All right, got my tickets. But he mentioned that, but he mentioned that like weeks ago. He was like, yeah, if we get the fight, it would be the 20th. So, I, so he just keeps going to that. Oh, he's saying he's going to get the fight. I, but fine, but if he gets it, sure. But it's like, everyone's like, yeah, you know, November 20th seems like the day. And I'm like, yeah, but he keeps a, saying that nothing, ass. nothing's changed. Allegedly. A person. <laughs> Nothing has changed since then. So he just keeps saying the same date and everyone's like, hey, I've, I've heard a lot of optimism for people in the business that it's going down. I, so we, that, the, uh, that the, the purse bid is going no, down? No, no. One the way or the other, the fight's going down. The, the, fight's going the down. fight has to happen. Yeah. Okay. The fight has to There's happen. There's been a lot of fights that have to happen. I can't in boxing. tell you how happen. grateful I am of the WBO for doing what they did. They mandated a fight between myself and Terrence Crawford. Somebody asked me the other day, they said, is this the biggest fight of your, of your career? I said, yeah. I said, but the crazy thing is every fight as I've had them has been the biggest fights in my career. At the point in time when I it's fought Keith Thurman, me. that fight was, um, well, yeah, <laughs> got one. But the circumstances, that actually was you know, the biggest fight. Do what you yeah, because yeah. nobody, you know. Yeah. But when I fought Keith, that was a big deal. Yeah. CBS hadn't done anything on, on boxing in, like since the 80s. Just was a humongous deal. Then you fast forward in its time. Uh, Danny and I both had had a loss. I had two. He had one. WBC. The, the belt was on the line. You wanted that one. New York boom, City. Boom. Yeah. boom. Brooklyn there, baby. Brooklyn. Then you know when you fast forward, <laughs> myself and Earl Spence Jr. Pay per view. Your first uh, pay per view. First pay per view. Sold out. Blah, 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 blah. Center. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And then now we got this one. You know what I mean? So. Like I said before, man, the only way this fight doesn't happen, because I had to bring myself back down. I was like, the only fight, the only way this fight doesn't happen is if somebody does get a purse bid and we're, they say they're going to give me more money. He's going to be mad and he's not going to fight Look, for that. But I, I, I think beyond what? that, like, can I, he can, can I, he can vacate his title and that's the only way this fight doesn't go down. Can but I, I he'll, that'll never happen. Can yeah. I just ask this very just point blank and you don't have to answer this, but why the hell ask it? No, because I, no, because I'm just, right, sure. no. Because there's been, like we've mentioned on previous episodes where people are like, yeah, I think somebody's going to back out. Is there any way you back out? No. Point? Okay. Yeah. I think it's no. Like, for any, so anyone that's one. He's not going to back out. I just, no, I no, said. I, 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 but you're the only one that can speak for Sean Porter. Yeah. You can yeah. speak directly for yeah. yourself that yeah. there's no, because yeah. everyone, well, you know, if the, if the money's the not right, no. Sean Porter is going to back out of the You know fight what this and, is? This is, this is people. People are so used to getting getting dogged by boxing. Yeah. Right. They that, protecting yeah, their that, heart. They protected their yeah. heart. Yeah. They protected their heart. Boxing, boxing, has, been kicking, mad boxing has been kicking the absolute shit out of us. Yeah. This year, I ain't so. mad at you. I get it. Yeah. I get it. But nah, relax. you said it. Yeah. So relax. Sean Porter is not backing out. Terrence Crawford has no reason to. He's not yeah, going to give up no. his belt. Uh-uh. So whether it's a purse bid, whether a deal gets It made, happens, and I hope it happens before Christmas. Yeah. That'd you feeling cool. good, champ? Yeah. Absolutely. He's a, he's one fifty right now. He said, "Damn, yeah, you Damn, do you look thinner." Yeah, he looked about one fifty five, one fifty. Ish. Yeah, I was goofing. My but. son makes me feel good. He always he wants to see my muscle now. Like okay, he's starting okay. to understand what that is. So he's yeah. like, "Show me your muscle," and he always says, "Wow," you know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm like it, the the combination of me working and then yeah. him, him asking to see it keeps me wanting to work. Yeah. So I'm starting so it looks better and better. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for your we dad. I'm waiting for your dad to get him like. Dad, how much do you weigh? So your dad is gonna have a your have your son ask the question. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just while uh-huh. scale. Have you have yeah, have you have you weighed in today? Yeah. It's like, oh, matter of fact, I, I have. I never son. have to deal with that. Yeah, but 
No, it should be a fun week. We'll see if uh, Bob Arum allegedly said it. He'd like to announce the fight this week. So feel free to. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to, feel free. But yeah, uh, we don't really have much boxing next week. Um, the next week is Usyk Joshua. Mm-hmm. Joshua Usyk. Mm-hmm. You get, you care about that, by the way, where it's whose name's first? No. Because I'll say it. I'll say it. Dude, no, okay. come on. So I like whatever whatever first. sounds good. Whatever sounds good. With the, okay. Because there are some times. With the champion. There are some times where Spence it sounds Porter better. sounds better than Porter Spence. To me. Yeah. So. And to Errol, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are definitely times where it sounds better one way or the other. You're yeah. Yeah. Got to shout good. Got to shout out my um my dad's guys. He's got three guys going in the yeah. ring. Malik weekend. Montgomery. Um, this Malik weekend? is yeah. yeah, Malik okay. will be headlining FS1. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, FS1 on Saturday or Sunday. Sunday. One of it's the It's going to be Sunday. I got a little yeah. scouting report on Malik obviously. Ooh. Okay. Just haven't seen him spar you and spar all the guys in your dad's camp. Mm-hmm. Malik 10 and 0, 10 knockouts. Kenny's working with him, KP, Kenny Porter. Kenny wants Malik to to really focus on that jab and be intelligent, but Malik at his heart is is a come forward guy who likes to bang. Mm-hmm. So I think that's going to be fun. For, he's going to be fun to watch on television mm-hmm. for people. I do mm-hmm. think he's going to come out intelligent like your dad wants to, mm-hmm. but at some point Malik's going to be Malik. Mm-hmm. And, you know, kind of like you, at some point he's going to get in there. There's three brothers from Georgia will be really quickly, but they all have that 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 type of spirit. His little brother mm-hmm. or big brother, Makai. His little big, brother. Big, big little brother. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, little, yeah. Okay, little brother, right. Uh, what's my dad call? My dad calls him. My dad calls him. Um, he calls him everything. He calls them warriors because they they go through it all. You know, what I mean, everything that I go through, and he, my dad hasn't seen very many people been been put through the yeah. fire the way he puts me through the fire. So, yeah, yeah. And, many have come and, and gone. And did not succeed. Yeah. I, so Malik I, and his brother both fight this yep, weekend. Yeah, and then, and, uh, and also Hendry. There he is. Yeah, Hendry uh, on Martinez. On Malik? Yeah, I think Malik hmm? should be Malik's the only one on TV. I yeah, I believe him. Malik is the only one on TV. And can we get? Is there a chance we can catch the other ones? Like, somewhere? I don't think so. Uh, FS1 this weekend. Both both fights on FS1 this weekend. Yeah, there's a fight Saturday, Saturday and, and Sunday. Sunday yeah. You got FS1 this weekend. Malik Montgomery uh, will be headlining one of those FS1 events Sunday and uh, Sunday. Uh, and then the other guys, I figure if they get like something crazy happens, they'll they'll put that, you know, use that as a highlight or something right. like that. You know? In between so, fights when they got yeah. some time to fill. Yeah. I will be out there broadcasting. Oh, oh you man. call him a league fight? Yeah. So yeah, you spar him and then call his fight? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you are a, a unique man. Yeah, I try you to be. Many talents. I yeah. try to be. Yeah. Try World to be. Most Bakersfield? Yeah. You coming? <laughs> <laughs> Look, where you got, what you got to look at? Yeah, he's like, Bakersfield is not on the TV. When are you leaving? No, because I, I might go. You right, when are you leaving? He was envisioning his you leave, weekend. You he look, was like, hey, that's, he's I'm like, like yeah, hey, I'll go now. You, y'all trying to go? I don't know, maybe. No. It's worth a thought, yeah. <laughs> you trying to it's go? Worth the <laughs> You're trying I'll to go. I'll be there. I'll be what there. What time you leaving? Are you leaving Saturday? I don't know. I'm telling you on yeah. air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God bless y'all. This is the Porter Way. Peace. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG at with two T's. This is the Port Away Podcast. This is Anthony Brunal and this is Carson A. Merck. Tell them what to do. Hey, like, subscribe, comment, follow, follow us on all social media platforms. <laughs> subscribe. I'm from Louisiana. I'll talk with a B. Let's do all it. Right, Let's do it again. Let's all do right. it. Again. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. You're already, you're already here. Hey, <laughs> hey, this is our outro. We're going to do it how we want to. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way. <laughs> <laughs>